so till now i have finished the half adder in three styles now we will be using by we will be going for full adder so full adder we know that for full adder we have three inputs a b and c in is another input and sum and sim carry are the outputs so we are taking three inputs full adder just creating it so it is full adder so similarly here i am writing wire for outputs so s and c are our outputs for mine outputs now i am doing it in first style nothing but structural modeling in the structural modeling i will be using only gates so for this i require intermediate signals nothing but i will be declaring as wires intermediate signals are nothing but declared as wires so if i take the full adder diagram here i have written the half adder so i am taking full adder full adder it's no problem if we don't write this uh, outputs as wires so that is the one thing that's why i have removed it so if i take a and b are given as to one xor gate and then the output signal intermediate signal it is nothing but intermediate signal a and the c in is given as to another xor gate so that intermediate signal is i am declaring as a wire so just i am declaring as wire one so i am declaring as wire one and i require another wire also wire two i am ready because these two and gates are again given to an or gate so this thing to and gates this intermediate signal and the scene is given to one and gate and this a and b are given to another to get this signal so for doing that just i'm taking another or gate just i want it in so first i want xor gate so it is xor of you see carefully a and b and output is intermediate wire so output comma inputs a comma b so another xor gate if you take then we'll be getting some the intermediate signals are w1 and c and next one is and gate so if you take this and gate we have one intermediate signal and for this and gate we have another intermediate signal so to do that we require more, more another one more intermediate wire so i have declared it as wire 2 where w3 so if for this we will get we will be getting w2 so if i see here so this is if i observe this is w2 then it is c in and another is intermediate signal so if it is c in and another intermediate signal was w1 so i have written as w1 and and of so if you see this a and b i have given and it is w3 w3 comma a comma b so now we are doing or operation for getting carry for w2 comma w3 so you can see here or operation for carry so if you have not understood this this time opening the paint this windows 10 so for me it's difficult to open some things are difficult in windows 10 so just to open with paint just if i open it paint just i will be saving this image so it will be clear for you so just like closing it open with paint if i open then i can write it here so it is w1 wire 
and we can able to see that CMC in is flowing here and it is a W1 here also and this is the sum and I have written this as W2 and this is as W3 this is what I have done here you can see the code carefully where I use the three wires I have used here so W1 is for the XOR gate as you can see here W1 A and B are given next I got sum as my output you can see here the sum as my output for W1 and C in and indicate for W1 and the C in so uh, that is nothing but we got the wire as W2 wire so that is W2 wire and next thing is we got is W3 that is the A and B operation and next at last we have got output so this is the explanation for this program just let us check the syntax as we want to save it just have not saved it just have saved it now just checking the syntax it is all right perfect just before doing this you we have already seen our previous videos so we will be having our truth table beside us so just checking any random so I am taking this value 0 1 and 1 so I am checking the values for 0 1 and 1 now the simulation window is popping up just I am closing my this window so 0 1 and 1 I want to give it now so I am checking only for one you can try it for more values 0 and it is 1 1 another one so this is another one so this is sum and this is carry just see 0 and 1 are the results for me so let us check those results are matching or not 0 1 1 and 0 1 are the results for me so I can see here the sum is 0 and the carry is 1 sum is 0 and the carry is 1 it's absolutely perfectly it, we are able to get it thanks for watching this video, video. next we will be doing this in data flow modeling